Right, TV people! Right, folks, today we are talking foundations. Now there is numerous foundations. This is this is aimed, this video is aimed at people that aren't in the building trade. So anybody that's in the building trade that's watching this video, turn it off because it's going to bore the crap out of you. However, if it's somebody from home who's wondering what different foundations there are, there are quite a few now. So there's a strip footing, there's an, a spread footing, there's rafts, there's many, many different sorts. Um, that's just to name a few. But the one I'm going to be showing you today is a spread footing. Now a spread footing is something they used to use in the olden days. Um, so what is it? So these pictures on the internet that's, that explain it quite well. However, sometimes it's not the same as seeing it in real life. So if we turn around here, you can see we've got a wooden floor. We've then got a section that's been taken out there. So we've got the suspended wooden floor on some brickwork. And at the sides of here, we've got spread footing. So what that is, is basically we've got two bricks together here. So we've got what's called a nine inch wall. So we've got a brick here going across and then we've got a nine inch wall so this is called a Flemish bond so we've got a brick there going that way a brick there as you can see going across and then we've got one going across and that dictates the overall width of the wall so there's no cavity it's a solid wall so like I say that's how we used that's how they used to be built so on a spread footing what they've done is this wall is obviously the same so this is a nine inch wall built up the same so you've got bricks going across that way on a stretcher and then you've got some going across there for a head and then on top of here sorry below there you've got more bricks and this is where the spread footing comes in so what the spread footing means is that these thicker bricks at the bottom so it's wider so you see how this is a brick wider than what that is So what they used to do, instead of digging a hole and pouring concrete in, they used to just put more bricks at the bottom and make it wider. And that is what we call a spread footing, and that's pretty much what it looks like. And if you go further around here, you can see the start of the spread footing there. So obviously I'm inside the house now, got all the air bricks here, and you can start seeing how the brickwork's coming out. So below there is more brick, and it's literally just on the ground and that's how we used to do it. And if you go all the way around here, you can see how the brick is coming out wider and wider. And here's another one, look. So the brickwork at the bottom is wider than the brick at the top. So in, in simplistic terms, that's just what a spread footing looks like. And that's the way that we used to build the houses back in the day. And that's it from me. So this was just to show you and show you an example of what a spread footing looks like, and that's it. All right, guys. See you later. Mwah.